The photojournalist Joanne MacArthur, who actually won the People's Choice Award in uh, this category in 2017. Uh, Joanne, thank you so much indeed for your time. Simple question, what makes a great animal or wildlife photograph? Oh, well, for me, it's, um, you know, showing context. It's one thing to take a beautiful portrait of an animal, but it's another to show location, action, um, you know, a moment captured. I think that's what really sets the picture apart. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking possibly uh, movement, expression, when uh, we can recognize something of us as humans in an animal. There's one particular one in the shortlist that I like, and I think it's some kind of bear and its child both rubbing their backs against a tree, and the child bear, the cub, to give it its right title, really appears to be smiling because it looks as if it's enjoying itself that much. Uh, what about your skills that you employ? Because when you snap the shutter, that moment is captured forever. But in terms of what you're required and what you expect of yourself when looking for that perfect photograph, patience, I suppose, is one of the virtues. Patience is one of them. Moving your feet is really important. If you're not seeing what you need to, you need to take 10 steps to the left or to the right. And absolutely a lot of patience. But one of the things that I love about photography for me is that when you take the picture and you capture that moment, that's when the image starts. For me, that's when you have the work of getting it out into the world, getting it seen and having it change hearts and minds so that we can reconnect with animals and uh, be reminded that they are in the world, that we share the world with them, and that they deserve our reverence and our protection. I was just going to make exactly that point to you about uh, what your thoughts are about the image that you're taking and how people are going to relate to it. And obviously, in the world of wildlife, it's about bringing that life in the animal kingdom closer to the person who's looking at your picture. We're just going to show the photograph for which you won the People's Choice Award in 2017. And I had no idea I was going to be speaking to you because as soon as I saw that picture, I was so happy. It's so famous now. Uh, tell us about that photograph. Is it a park ranger with a, a gorilla? He is a gorilla caretaker. He is the caretaker, uh, Monsieur Apollinaire, and he's the caretaker of Pekin, the gorilla. Now, the gorillas were being moved, sedated, from one enclosure to the next, to a much bigger enclosure at Ape Action Africa in Cameroon, a wonderful sanctuary. Now, Pekin woke up early from the sedation, uh, which was a scary moment for me as a photographer. You should never really get in a car with a gorilla. But um, because she was safe in the arms of her caretaker, whom she loved, she did stay calm and she actually went back to sleep. And it gave me that opportunity to capture a really unique moment in time. And uh, is, is, is the photograph a genuine reflection of the feeling that that park ranger has for that gorilla? Because, you know, in the instant that you, you take a photograph, things can change in the split second afterwards. But you really see in that one moment how much he loves this animal that he's holding. You're absolutely right. It's a good question. Uh, it is the truth, so to speak. Um, his expression is the truth, and he is that warm and wonderful and caring of an individual. Uh, he often says that he feels like these gorillas are his family, these young orphans who've been um, rescued by Ape Action Africa from the bushmeat trade. And he cares about these animals greatly. And so that's, that's an absolutely true sentiment you're, you're seeing on his face there. Uh, John, can I ask you a final question about the art of photography as it is today in the modern world? Uh, I have actually in the past couple of years stopped following a couple of accounts on Twitter because all the pictures that they post use filters. And I don't really want to see that kind of fake photograph. Do you think filters are overused? Well, they have their place, but I don't think they really have their place in our world, in the world of wildlife photography and photojournalism. What we're trying to do is show the truth and show things as they are. Um, yes, exactly, the images that you're showing here. Um, this is the reality for animals, and I think that the filters skew that. Um, so I, I don't find that there's a place for them in this type of photography. Joanne, I'm so happy to be able to say in the future that I spoke to Joanne MacArthur, the lady who took that picture <laughs> that won the award in 2017. Honestly, it really has stuck with me ever since I saw it. Thank you so much for joining us on TRT World. It.